I began to hit the streets at, at age of 16 years old within a community at JP. School Street, I began to learn how to live with the hood kids trying to be somebody and just to blend in. And knowing in the community of what I was doing is just doing motivating things within my life to go further deeper into problems, getting myself into vehicles, getting myself into sustenance abuse, or selling, getting caught, doing vice versa. Within the community itself, I, I began to elevate myself into a crime life at the long run, knowing that where it was catching me into a purpose of bringing myself into a way of destroying myself. Sooner or later, I had learned what society I thought it was doing to myself, but I was doing to me. I changed my ways of living in a different state of mind, of uh, changing things that I thought that I would not be able to accomplish. Like I never finished my high school. I went and took my GED. I made it to accomplish getting my diploma. Sooner or later, coming out from that state of mind, I brought myself into becoming something different. No longer I find myself out here like I was before. Um, so no more I can really say about what I brought myself into. I always wanted to become somebody what the other kids always saw by peer pressure of becoming like them, walking like them, uh, speaking like them. I also remember when I, I was in that lifestyle, I had brought around my, my siblings, my brothers, my sisters, kid, like one of them was JD and Dante. Remember that JD seeing the lifestyle I live in, he took a rose and rose up to the lifestyle day, going into the hood, the community, JP, not being around his father, uh, his father using substance abuse also, not being close to him, was disturbed by what surrounding was around him, looking a, a figure, a father, a uh, personality, a model, chose his friends um, to know as peer pressure. And uh, to this day, um, he chose a path of running fast life, that fast lane life. I have my little other nephew, where he began to look at JD as lifestyle he lived. I remember my nephew one day, he said to me, man, Theo, man, I want to live like you. I want to do the same things that you do. In a way, it distracted me to believe that what he said, but it hurted me. But that, that self-esteem that I had, I didn't care because the kid goes to walk his ways, he got his own choices to make. Little Dante, even though they, he did his own things, he accomplished much more of choosing from being out here hard into finishing school, going into colleges, accomplishes much more. I really can say, I wish I could be like Dante instead of him saying he wanna be like me.